Hello. This is Shane in 681. We're going to make beach bread. Everything you need is right here. French loaf. You can use you can use Italian, that's fine. Garlic powder. You can use salt if you want, but I'll tell you something in a minute. Cream cheese, room temperature. Butter, room temperature. Old English cheese in the can, okay? Now we're going to open this up. And we're going to cut it in half. Try to get it even. I never do. Probably could have done this before I started filming. But you want your oven at about 425. You want that bread to, and it's on bake. And I'll talk about broiling in a minute. All right. Isn't that pretty? We're going to take the butter. Mm -hmm. And we're going to spread it real good. All right. Get it in there good. This is actually really good. I have um, Savage and Joe and Dennis and Val can vouch for it as well as my own family. Okay. Let's get it in the middle. You can use a stick of butter. If, I mean, I think I had a stick of butter out. I just got the spreadable butter. You can use margarine. Hell, that doesn't really matter. All right. You just want to get it on there good. All right. Okay. And we're going to take our garlic powder. You, <laughs> you can use, I can't see you. You can use garlic salt if you like. The reason that I don't is that the old, I use salted butter. So this is really, can be really salty. I'm not even sure how much, let's see how much sodium. Not a whole lot of sodium in cream cheese. So you want to get your cream cheese that's room temperature. Right? Open it up. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. You want to sprinkle the ga uh, garlic powder. Joe said I didn't use enough at the beach, and he's right. I didn't use as much as I usually use because some people don't like it and or you know don't like a lot of it. If you want to use garlic salt, go ahead. I mean, just beware that it's a lot of sodium going on. How's everybody doing today? Please zoom in on my kitchen. I'm sure you all will. All right. Opening that up. And you spread that on too. I do it by not. Here it is. Here we go. All right. Get that, just get it kind of flat, you know, you know how to spread. Nothing on it you haven't done before. This is so good. You're going to want to, I mean, we make it a lot. Well, not a lot. I tell you, it's usually, we all get in the mood for it. Old English is always in different places in the, um, in the store. You can, I mean... Sometimes it's with the crackers. Sometimes it's, you know, you're not going to use all of this, but if you want to use all of it, go. Do your thing. Do your thing. All right. Let's put a little bit more. Let's put a little bit more. And some of you are going to be thinking, oh, God, I hate. I hate cream cheese. Joe told me at the beach while he was eating the bread that he didn't like cream cheese. And I said, well, you might like it now because you're eating it. Spread those on. Like I said, you can eat one year even. We used um, Mr. 681 went to the store and got the wrong kind of bread. He got, it, he got French bread, but it was sliced. We made it work. 
we made it work. Because it's just always the same things. The butter, garlic salt, garlic powder. I use powder. Um, we got the green cheese here. Ugh. Can I pause this? So I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure that out in a minute. So y'all might be thinking, oh my God, that is the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life. Some of you might be saying, oh my God, that's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. You probably both are right. Come on. Okay. All right. You just want to get it even, you know, and they're good. All right. Okay. I'm telling you, if you make this for your family, they're going to like it. And we're going to pop the top. Oh, shit. On the Old English. See that? Old English. Made by craft. And we're going to put that on top. This is, again, room temperature as well. And we're going to spread that on top of the cream cheese. This used to be called, and I'll tell you the whole story on this. When I went down to see my dad a couple of years ago, probably, um, I don't know, Catherine was a baby, so she's 15 now, so if I tell you, it's been a while. My stepmother made this. So I used to call it her name, you know, and bread. And um, I did that for a long time. Called it that. And then I didn't like it calling that it calling it that anymore. So I called it bitch bread. <laughs> and I was probably a little bit more appropriate. Then we decided to change it to kid-friendly beach bread because I made this at the beach for my friends. And I was pretty proud of it. It's 68 degrees in my house, so that might be why this cheese is having a hard time. But it's not a big thing. You just get it on there good. Usually a can, a jar, I mean, will do it. I always get two just to just to be safe. Can't ever have. And plus, if you hey, whatever's left, put it on some Ritz crackers, and you are living life. Chris, my cheese is not spreading. Cause you could hang meat in here. That's why. All right, is that good enough? All right, let me just hit it on the side. And then whatever's left, we'll get it on there good. So my thing is preheating. Let me just... Would that be better? Yeah. Um, oh, help me spread that out, please. I put it on like 425. Uh, I always use aluminum foil because you want that uh, French bread to get really crisp. Um... Oh, this is not spreading well. Um, now, what you can do, because some people like that bubbly, brown, browned cheese. You can, um, after about 10 or 20 minutes or so in there, you'll see it. It'll, it the bread's going to start working, doing what it do. And... Some people like that brown bubbly on top. And you can just stick it on the, um, you know, stick on the broiler and finish it off on top. If that's the way you like it, if you like it this way, you need it this way. You can do whatever you want. But try it. And then tell me what you think about it. If you hate it, say, God, it was gross. And I'll refund your money. No, I won't. But I will. Oh, this cheese does not want to spread. Alright. 
All right, we're getting it. It's getting there. I think sitting on the oven is probably helping a little bit. Let's get some more over here. You can see my production team did not show up to the meeting nor the taping of this. Today was Catherine's first day of school. It was a good day. She's in driver's ed. That makes me sick to my stomach, but whatever. Her dad is not handling the driver's ed well, driver's ed well at all. All right. Let's get it all on here. What the hell? We're going to live it up. This also warms up well if you do it like, you know, you got some left. Uh, you won't have any left, but if you do... All right. Now I'm going to put this in the oven. 425, 15 or 20 minutes. Okay? I'm going to pause it. Don't go nowhere because this is going to be pretty great. All right. See you in a minute. Hello. I'm not, no, I'm not even, I'm trying to get on camera and I can't. Hello. It's been about, really only about 15 minutes. And there we go. Turn that off. Move my Diet Coke. Yes, I drink Diet Coke. No, no fat jokes, please. Now, look. That's all nice and brown. It's all nice and brown. That's browning up. <gasps> what? How about, you're, not, bread. you're not gonna be. Look, see. Look at oh, my angle. Oh yeah, I'm down here. Sweet. Notice that none of my production crew came in while I was preparing. I could smell it. I know, right? All right, I'm going to cut it. It's really hot, so you probably shouldn't have it down. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should you let it cool down before you <laughs> I cut should it? probably let it, but time is of the essence. Because Big Brother's coming on in a minute. You got your party, Hold on. Here, come here. I, you gonna eat it? Yeah. Pull it. It's hot. It's so hot. It's a good one. It's hot. I know. And you just cut it up like that, obviously, like you would if you're having spaghetti and a little garlic bread. Now, here's what I don't know. And some of y'all might put this in the comments. I don't know. You know the um the bread at the store, the garlic bread that's usually it's in the foil bag and you bring it home, put it, pop it in the oven, you open it up, whatever. Could you start with that? You know, for that would get your butter and your garlic already going and all you'd have to do. And that probably would work. That would probably work. I thought about yet that yesterday when I was at the store buying bread. I bought Italian bread and not, hold on, I hate to cut this hard on a, aluminum. Anyway, guys, that's what it looks like, Chris. It's very good. Is it? It's very good, yeah. Too much garlic? No. Just right. no okay, all right. It's just like always. This a smell is going to go through the house and everyone will come running. Everyone will come running. And, like, yeah, I'm just cutting it a little bit too soon. Yeah, it's really hot. It's really hot. It's really hot. All right. This is beet bread. Again, the ingredients. French loaf, but you can use Italian. One year, Chris got the wrong bread. He got sliced. Oh we made it work. The garlic powder, because the cheese is pretty salty. Um, So, your butter, your garlic powder, cream cheese, Old English cheese, Pop it in at um, 425, 10, uh, anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes. I mean, it, it, it depends on your oven. You put it in the middle rack. You don't put it high or low. If you want to get it more brown than this, the cheese, you can put it, um, stick the broiler on, but all you really need is to, need to keep it in there. It's, it's whatever. So if you try this at home, let me know what you think. And... Uh, we'll be doing more of these little things. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Fuck, I can't. I'm going to lean into this and burn the shit out of myself. Goodbye.
Goodbye.